Hey guys, how are you doing? Oh, let me just turn that TV down. It's currently uh, nearly 1.30am here in the uh, UK on a Saturday night. Um, I recorded the vlog on Thursday. Um, I initially started talking about weight loss um, at the beginning and then got a phone call mid midway through that video and had to delete the video. So um, so I had to uh, record another one. Um, but I've just gone to try and edit the two videos together to upload them. And um, I've deleted the first video by accident, so I'm going to connect this one to that to the, the the main part of the video with some important news for you. Um, but I just didn't want you to sort of bit because it starts with me going apologising for getting a phone call, so you um, you won't really know what's going on. So I just thought I'd uh, just put this little introduction in, just so you know um, what the the following video is about. Um, I was only talking about weight loss, um, and it's going very well at the moment, um, but it's not important. Anyway, on to more important news. Um, yeah, come right up. Apologies guys, I've got a phone call just midway through the vlog, so the video decided to cut out. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so weight loss, the uh, everything's looking fantastic for the first quarter, um, but I'm pleased to announce, after six months, or nearly seven months now, I finally have a job. Um, yeah, I remember saying in previous vlogs that I'll be dancing around the room. Um, Apologise if I'm not doing that, purely because, and I'm sorry guys, but I, I've known about it for about four or five days now. So I was dancing around the room then, but I'm not so much at the moment because it's um, kind of sunk in a little bit. Um, I'm one of these people that doesn't... I show emotion, but my girlfriend always moans at me because... And I know, I think Rob mentioned it in the Loose the Game group, that I don't look like I'm excited. So if I've lost five pounds, I'll go, I lost five pounds. You know, I lost five pounds. But I am pleased inside, trust me. I just don't go, woohoo, yeah. Um, when I found out I got them, I did do a little fist pump to myself. And, and um, yeah, so it, 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 I do, I am happy inside, I promise you. Um, it's weird because it's hard to explain. You don't know how you're going to react, but... Um, I know when my girlfriend found out. Basically, I found out that there was something on the cards about mm, about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. But I've had the whole. It's not been definite, like I said to you in previous vlogs, because I've had to wait for references to clear and and, and such like. So it's not been um, a definite thing that I can report to you. Like I say now, I've got a job, but there's always been something on the cards. And barring something humiliating going wrong, then I wouldn't have the chance of getting a job, but the way things have been going in the past, with companies going bust and things like that, um, I didn't want to say anything until it was all done and dusted because I know that I would have, you know, just in case I would have tempted fate and, um, you know, uh, ruined things. So I, I didn't want to do it. So um, my girlfriend said, when I told her and I left a voicemail for her to say that I've got one of these jobs, I, I actually got two jobs, but I'll tell you about them in a second. Um, then uh, she shed a little tear and stuff like that because she's very happy for me. But I do show emotion. It's just, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, I'm done with that now, if that makes sense. You know, I was quite upset quite a lot. When I lost my job in October, you know, in my own sort of quiet space, I was forever sort of upset and in tears. And then Christmas came along, the same thing, I was in tears. And then beginning of the year, I was in tears because I had to borrow money off people. Money was running out and it was just um, oh, it's a horrible, horrible place to be in. Um, so I think I'm done from that side of things. I do feel a sense of relief, of course I do, but maybe not as much relief that I thought I was gonna uh, that I thought I was gonna feel purely because, and this sounds really cheesy and, and stupid probably, but I always thought that I'm gonna get something, and it's not being egotistical or big headed, but I've always thought I'm I'm an employable person. I'm a nice person. I'm not. I work hard. Um, I'll always give 110%. So I knew there'd be something out there for me, whether it be temporary or full-time. So I always knew there'd be something better. It couldn't get any worse because, you know, obviously I was at rock bottom in the sense that I didn't have no money and there was nothing. I, I couldn't see a way out. Um, so it's hard to explain. My girlfriend did say, oh, you're not happy or you're not, you know, you're not pleased. And I am, I'm really pleased. But it, it, it's, it's half in this part. I think when you've been... You know, when you've been through that meal, you're going through that, yeah, that meal that long, 
you kind of have to man up a little bit. Does that make Henry stupid? I kind of sort of... There might be a time where... Maybe it hasn't sunk in. Maybe when I go to start my job, I'll sit there and think, God, you know. I'll tell you when it'll sink in when I get my first paycheck. Because I've not had one of them for six months. So that's when it'll sink in. Um, uh, definitely. Uh, you know, that's when it'll sink in, I think. Um, but I'm just one of these guys that, you know, when I open presents, I'll be really happy if I get whatever gift I get. But if something's really, really big, it depends. Something's grabbed me. <laughs> I'm a typical bloke in the sense when my girlfriend got me a PS3 <laughs> for my birthday a few years ago and a, like a well done gift for getting into the uh, emergency services, I was a lot happy. <laughs> but um, I, I, I am, yeah, no, I, I am really, really happy. I, I am. It's just, I, it's a huge sense of relief. But I think I always knew that there was something better out there for me and because this has been on the cards for ages. Um, I say ages, about a month now. Um, I think I feel. You know, I think my relief has sort of gone there. If that makes sense. But um, let me just tell you quickly a little bit about it. Um, basically, typical Soz Law, I got uh, two job offers come through. I've waited six months for a job offer and two came through at once. Um, if you want to know about my previous job issues, just go through my previous vlogs. I've got jobs in the title, unemployment or in the tags or whatever. Um, I won't bore you with it, but basically I lost my job six months ago, working in the emergency services, um, I've tried to get into um, temporary work, which I could have done, but then I, I, it would have mean me blowing out on a lot of full-time interviews, which I didn't want to do, um, unfortunately interviews haven't gone my way, um, I've had people let me down in the sense where companies have not paid me for working a shift and said to me that you know I can't drive an ambulance even though I've been doing it for 18 months, and I've had to pass two driving tests since then for various companies and I've done it so obviously that company was talking out of its arse um, and um, you know I've had like say a company go bust on me when I almost had a position um, so many many things but that's all done that's all in the past I'm not I'm not worried about that um, I just think that's sort of two things you know, one thing on the, uh, the the first thing that's going to um, be the catalyst for everything now um, is my me getting into getting the job and it's going to be yeah, you know, the future. Looks, that's what I'm more excited about. The future. The future looks so great now. I can keep moving on, and I can do the things that I want to do to build my future for my girlfriend and my family as well. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. Um, and you know, until I say, until I first start, until I start, until I get my pace to come through, then I, then it will be real. Um, but yeah, so I had um, and then uh, nothing going on, and then come uh, February time, I had an interview. For a job, um, for a scanner, uh, photographer, for um, to scan, sorry, for diabetes photographer, take pictures of people's eyes and look at the X-rays and stuff like that, their eyes, just to sort of prevent. Well, the main aim is to prevent blindness. Um, everyone who's got diabetes in the UK, I think it's a worldwide thing, but uh, you should get your eyes checked once a year. Um, and that was uh, what the job was, uh, training to look at that and uh, and operate the camera and all that sort of stuff, which is really really cool. So they were the first people who offered me a job. Um, Basically, from there, I had to wait about three weeks for the references to clear, my CRB, my criminal check, and the record check and all that um, had to come through. Um, so that was waiting. When I got told, um, not that I got the job, I got told basically by them that they were really pleased with my interview and that, you know, we'll just t see how the references go, which basically means if, if the references went well, then I've got the job. Uh, but they could have to wait for all that to check out before they could offer me it. Um, whilst I did that, I also... Uh, got a um, interview and sort of like a opening sort of uh, not test but like a um, a chance to have a go for another job that basically cut long story short um, and it was for another private ambulance firm here in the UK um, a big one really really big one like a local one as well which I've seen and about when I've been driving um, obviously working yeah driving also driving about myself but also when I've been driving an ambulance before um, really really big company and both jobs as well. One's about fifteen minute, ten, 10 15 minute drive, and the other one's literally a five minute drive away from uh, my mum and dad's house here. Um, so, uh, but that job, I the same day I had to go for a fitness test for that job, which I told you about in one of the previous videos, which uh, went well and passed that. Then I had to have a driving test, take one of the ambulances out and drive it round for about half hour, and then bring it back, which went fantastic. I passed that, and then last but not least, I had to have an interview there. Um, which went really well as, as well. And then um, the following weekend, they offered me a job for that. So while my references and everything's checking out for this other job, they've offered me a position. So I had two positions to choose from. Because then, sorry, by then the, the other company did offer me a, a position as well. Um, so, 
then it became the fact of deciding what to do. Um, and I've gone for the um, private ambulance firm purely because um, the salary is a lot more. It's not like I'm just doing it for the salary. Um, but among the main reasons is the ambulance firm sent me everything through the post, like contracts, the whole caboodle, uh, you know, job description, blah, blah. With the other firm, they basically sent me an offer letter, but no contract. Um, and basically, I know some, because speaking to a lot of people, people said that some companies do do this. Um, they they haven't sent me a contract. They, they basically sort of said, I have to go for... Um, like an induction, start my job for like eight weeks and then they offer me a contract, which I do find a little bit weird because every job I've ever had, you know, I know what's, I know what's um, expected of me and what's and what's expected from the company that I'll be working for as well, for, from, from my, for me and from my personal point of view. So um, it's a two-way street. Um, so as much as I know that it's you know, apparently very common now to do that, um, it's not the sort of thing that I'm after purely because... I mean, if that was the only job on the table, of course I'm going to take it because it's guaranteed money, um, a salary as well, guaranteed work. But also, that contract's only for a year, whereas this other one's a rolling contract. So it mean, obviously it means that you know I'll keep going and going and going. Um, so there was more security with the other, the Ambers firm. Uh, both great jobs, really nice people, um, but the, the other ones just seemed a little bit more efficient. And also, I don't know, it's not just the salary, just, you know, they've just said, oh, you're, you're going to earn this much and the salary's completely consumed me. It was a big, it is a bit of a swinger in that direction, but um, there's other facets. Like I said, not having a contract to sign for eight weeks, um, you know, it sounds really horrible, but it means I, I lost my other job. I don't want to sort of get eight weeks down the road, blow off this other job, work, pick this other company work for eight weeks and then they suddenly turn around to me and say, no, sorry, then I'm left on my ear again. I have to go call him back to the other company when they could quite easily say, no, we don't want you, we've got someone else now. Then I'm back to square one. So I don't want, I, I just can't live with that lack of security. Um, I really can't. It's not not this, not this not after what's, what's just happened to me and how I've, I've had to live my life for the last six months. I need a bit of security and a bit of guaranteed work. Um, so, you know... So the private elements from I know exactly what's expected of me, and the contract is all there, and then and, and the contract's gone back to them now. So um, all signed, sealed, delivered. So that should be fine. Um, I'll be starting on the sixteenth of April. Yep, that's the day after the Brighton Marathon, which should be fun. Um, I've got to do a two-week training course first. Um, so that'll be some lifting and stuff like that, which would be great after the Brighton Marathon. Yay! Um, but then also, the Sunday after, the first week, I've got, I've got Brighton Marathon and the weeks of training. Then that weekend is the London Marathon. Then I've got a second week of training as well, the Monday after, the day after the London Marathon. So it'll be quite good, because by the time I actually start the job, uh, my legs should have recovered. That's one of my fears when doing the marathon. But um, I, uh, you know, I'm glad that, I won't have to, I'll be a bit recovered by that, by, by that time. But when I ran the marathon in 2010, I had to go back to work the next day. Or, or obviously, I was studying to be a student paramedic. So uh, it, only, it was only sort of two, three weeks into the course. So um, thankfully, we didn't do much lifting, but it was on the third floor and the lift broke, so I had to walk up the stairs anyway. So, um, But yeah, so, uh, you know, but it is what it is. I just have to get on with it. And, um, you know, I'm a big boy. I just have to um, live with a few aches and pains and see how we go. Again, if I beat my time, marathon time at Brighton, then I'm going to enjoy the week and enjoy London anyway. So, um, But yes, yeah, so I thought I'd share with the news. It's going on a bit too long, this video now. But um, it's a job. Finally, something to tick off the list, thank God. Um, yeah, fantastic. So thank you for everyone who, for your support and your words of encouragement. And, um, and you know, obviously, I my family don't watch this, but my family, my friends, my girlfriend have been... So great to me, so I'm really, really grateful for their um, support, and um, you know, I really, really appreciate. It. I can't repay, re repay that. I really can't. So, um, words cannot express, but, you know, what they've done for me these last six months. Without them, I wouldn't have got through it, most definitely. But anyway, guys, um, hopefully um, that will raise your spirits a little bit. If you're unemployed, you can get something. Just keep positive, and uh, keep working hard. And you'll get somewhere. I promise. Um, I didn't think that I was going to get anywhere. And, um, and look, here I am. See you later, guys. Take care. Bye.